Welcome to the SC2K show. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wee Guy and the J-Man. Uh, uh, why do I have to be mentioned last? Because I say the best for last. I don't believe it. Well, believe <laughs> uh, This podcast is about our favorite SC2K LPs, our favorite ones of all time that we've done since the beginning of the channel back in 2009. So, yes. And Don War is definitely number one. No, um... Oh man, see that that don't even belong on the scale because it's too awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's chipping those one and two by bear, obviously. Oh yeah, that's right. All right. Well we'd have to do like a, a separate podcast of like the most amazing, you know like we would have to compare it with the rest of YouTube. No. It's too awesome for the S U K. I mean No, come on. Now the best L P was Green's Double Dragon Three. Oh yeah. See <sighs> once again, that's man, we're on a different scale. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's right up there with uh, Jeff's mom doing laundry. I was just about to say that was the very first LP done <laughs> on yes. on our channel. Uh, let's play Ninja Gaiden. Now there was two LPs of the game, one by me and then one by Gentoo, who actually completed the game. I did because I suck at it, but that was the first LP on the channel, and that was like I think first words spoken were, "Hey, uh, Jeff, get your clothes out of the laundry or out of the yep. dryer or something like that." <laughs> Before I could even make an introdu- introduction, <laughs> and so I was like, "Okay, well, anyway, we're here with uh, Sugar Sega America uh, and and Jeff's mom." That's how the SC2K started with dirty laundry. <laughs> yeah, uh, laundry, and of course, I remember one the in the Metroid LP. We got goes, "Your mom's pretty cool, Jeff. I want to meet her." And he's like, "Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? What? She's pretty cool. She has NES." <laughs> that was my young mind. That's my mentality when I was still into getting into NES. I'm just like, oh, you going too? We're here, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to hang out with her at Walmart. <laughs> nah, man, Walgreens. Yeah. Um. But but speaking of Jeff, his LP has the most views on our channel. Uh, part yeah, part. because of AVGN. Yeah, but still. Uh. Uh, let's play, quote unquote, play. Plumbers don't wear ties for the Panasonic 3.0. Uh, part one was uploaded on July 24, 2009, and and so that was the second LP on the. Well, that was started in the middle of my LP. Get started, of Ninja Guy, and then Jeff did his. Uh, let's play a plumbers don't wear ties. Part one has over 33,000 views, ah. 96 comments, and. And yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty fun LP to do because you know the game is hilariously atrocious, and it was uh, <laughs> that was that was a pretty fun thing to commentate over. Yeah, it would have been hey. my first commentary in the last part, but it didn't make it somehow. Huh? Uh, yeah, remember I did the last part, but you redid it because of something, and thus that meant that my first in in uh, uh, I. <laughs> My first LP I was in was Wrath of the Black Mana. Yeah. Huh, well... Promise Don't Wear Ties, what did you guys think about that LP? It sucked. And it wasn't in it, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're talking about the, the OLP, the experience of it, or just the game? Or both? Oh, oh no. the game sucked. It, well, for me, the uh, just the... Like, we was already starting to do it, and then and AVGN... You know, put up the trailer. It was like you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Or we was about to do it, and then he put up the trailer, and it was like ah, just Peter. like a guy. I was about to do it, but someone else did it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That made it kind of cool though at the same time because it's you know, it, it looked like we were wanting to ride off at co- these coattails. Right. But I mean, it was still it was still all good. It was still fun to do, and I mean. Yeah, that game, if you can call it a game, a bare minimum of a game. Um, a bare minimum. Bare 13 minimum, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, I remember, let's play Wrath of the Black Manta. We got made his debut, and J-Man said something he shouldn't have said, so we had to air it out. <laughs> oh, yes. Arnold, eh? Yeah, I didn't say uh, Schwarzenegger quite correctly, so... 
And as we we talked about before, if it would have happened like later on, I would have been like, keep that shit in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> J-Man was PC back then. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, Windows PC. Yeah. <laughs> and that game is so 70s-ish. I mean, you remember the cutscenes, J-Man? Uh, I think I, I blocked him out. Yeah. Uh, you that blacked them out. Uh, Wrath of the sure, Black sure. Manta. When I was a kid, I thought I said Wraith of the Black Manta. But, yeah, Wrath of the Black Mamba, whatever it's called, made by Tato. And Published. <clears throat> it's like a watered-down Ninja Gaiden. And we got, made his debut in that LP, I don't remember exactly which part, but... That it was, was like three? Huh? I think it was like three. Uh, maybe. And, uh, just, just so you know, it's AI that developed it. I know you don't care, but I gotta say it. Well... You know, that actually kind of does make sense, because I've played a couple of Tato games and enjoyed them a lot. Yeah, they ain't all the blame. Tato actually made, you know what I mean? I never really enjoyed... I, I haven't played much Tato games, I don't think. Um, I heard well, Bobble was good, but I never played it. What, what do you mean you haven't played much Tato games? You've played the, the best one they've made. Sorry, get it ready, Renegade! See, again, that's why I like Tato that much. Black Manta is better than Target Renegade, first of all, and Renegade. You shut your mouth. I mean, not the music, at least. At least Target Renegade has, you know... Pretty, pretty oh. music. Black man, same stage music in every single stage. Well, you can't beat Tim Fallen, man. He is the uh. Oh, it's Fallen. It's the best. It, it it's pronounced Fallen, but I'm trying to lean my way to say pronounce it right instead of saying Fallen, which I think sounds better. But f- forget it. I don't care. How about we lean toward another LP? Yeah, Target Renegade. Right? No. Well, go ahead. Well, yeah, go ahead and you. You know, I've already mentioned two of mine. Go ahead and mention. Yours. Oh, you're really good. It is one of my favorites. It's my first one, and oh, it was so good. I I I was funny back then. <laughs> you were? What? <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I mean that was uh that, that was a I don't like the game, but the LP itself uh I thought was pretty good. Um. Yeah, it's it's it started the constant, you know, joke between. Me and you being like, oh, Target Renegade, it's a good game. you let like, no, it's not. And it's like, come on, man. It's one of the most viewed videos on the S2K. Probably because there wasn't much about it back in 2000, even 10. So, yeah. Right. And gosh, there's the S2K, there's my channel, there's, like, on my other alternate channel, there's a video about it. There's so many videos I've done on Target Renegade. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I can't help it. It's, it's all because of that music. I mean, that music started it for me. That's why I'm so into NES music and all. Yeah. So, and, and you like to press fire to rumble. Yeah. Just, who doesn't want to press fire to rumble? Um, me. Yeah. Then you ain't tough enough. Tough enough? Well, this isn't the WWE, but... Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> and... Uh, speaking of tough, let's play Dirty Harry. <laughs> oh, man. How much tough as it is? Well, dirty. <laughs> Part 1 you got has over 4,000, almost 5,000 views. Um, I love that LP because I just know the game that's so laughable that it was just begging for some lulls and Terry. Uh, Green was in that one. Uh, yeah, J-Man. I think oh, was Charlie. There. Charlie. Uh, we guy, I believe. I think you were in that. Yeah, I was in that. Uh, that was a that was a fun LP do for a sorry game. Yeah. Very disappointed in the game. Um, I first seen it at Special Effects 2003, and I was like, "What the heck is a dirty, hairy NES game?" And and I had to buy it, even though I knew it was gonna suck because I never heard of it before. But I had to buy it, so I bought it, and of course it sucked, but. It made for good commentary on the S2K, and very little people know this. I actually did a review of it on my Ron Ward channel back in like September 2007, but it was one of those videos that I really sucked at at the very beginning, and I took down so hardly no one really seen it. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, old bathroom recordings. Yeah, maybe uh, Goemon probably has seen it. Actually, that was one of the, the webcam, not the bathroom one. Oh, uh, okay. But, yeah, it was terrible. The S2K LP was much 
It's more entertaining to watch. Yeah, we're better than you. Yeah, part three was called Let's Play Clean Harry. Uh, part two was called Let's Play Dirty Harry Potter. So, yeah, and... and it's creative names. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I may not be right about this, but uh, um, I think that one actually got a, help, uh, a good amount of help from Spoonie One that did a review yeah. of Dirty Harry. But I'm not, you know, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I think he did it in, like, 2008, though, so... Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, we got... Yes. Wait, mention another one of your LPs. Well, uh, no, no. well, I mean, let's gotta mention something else. What's something that doesn't get much speak about? Don't know. It's it's tough. Done a lot of good LPs that I'm very happy and proud about. I don't know. I I really like Doom. Doom was a that was a, that was the first like long LP I've done, and that was ah. <laughs> I mean, I unfortunately don't remember a whole lot, but ah, oh, God, I gotta. Really, I should rewatch that because I I remember there being really good things in the Doom LP. I've been watching some of those parts lately, and I remember J Man not being happy because he's like, like it's the same thing in each part. You run, you shoot. Yeah, you run and shoot. But I wasn't I wasn't happy um, that it wasn't Doom sixty four. <laughs> well, fortunately, I'm not not that pro in in that game as I am in the SNES Doom. But hey. I still made something entertaining. Yeah, I right. had a good point, though. We got had a good point replying to J-Man saying, well, in Mario, you run and jump a lot. In Contra, you shoot a lot. In Street Fighter, you punch and kick a lot. So what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's when I had good comebacks. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a good point. I can see what J-Man's talking about, though. It seems like it's you look at the same thing. At least Mario Brothers is different environments to look at. Right, and, and that was my point. In Doom, it's everything looked the same, but I, I can see both, both of your. I don't know who decided with. I can I can agree with both of y'all. Like, well, they're both right. <laughs> no, they're, both well, right. they're slightly they're slightly more enemies in Street Fighter too. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. When you're using the and, super and FX chip, for, and, and there's a lot of moves that you can use. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not just punching and kicking. You know, you have different variations. That's true. But yeah, that uh, the Super FX chip of Doom on the Super Nintendo, it since it looks so like muddy and pixelized, yeah, a lot of the environments look muddy and the same. I can I can see that. Right, and it, it yeah, it, it it takes away a lot of that value, and that's I mean that's why I love Doom sixty four so much is you get so trapped in the environment that it, you don't mind that you're just shooting and you know jumping and stuff. Yeah. Because it's it's so oh, yeah. immersive and the the music's like haunted and ooh. yeah yeah but indeed it was it was some fun commentary in that one oh yeah this oh is, definitely they've all had their every 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 LP's had its good share yeah Viper was in that one uh, <laughs> yeah that's one of the ones with the most like probably Red Pine Star Tropics like the second to last part or whatever for like most people in the commentary oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Because there was like me, you, J-Man, Viper, Bear, and, well, five. Still a lot to manage. Well, we didn't even know. There was there was people in that that none of us. Where do you know him from? I don't know him. I thought you knew him. What? <laughs> Steve Urkel. What's what are you doing? <laughs> he just somehow stumbled onto the commentary. He was on Skype, and yep. then he somehow the signals got crossed, ended up being in our call somehow, and then dunk board. Don't cross the signal streams. Yeah. Eh. Uh, oh, why, why haven't we done that game yet? I don't know, because no one wants to. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, good point. Ghostbusters. On the NES. Oh, I thought I was like, I, I thought talking about a game called Signal Streams. <laughs> so, he's talking about don't cross the streams. Yeah. Signal Streams, that's got to be a game somewhere. <laughs> that's right, I forgot. I forgot about it. They haven't seen Ghostbusters. Probably on Newgrounds or something. <laughs> or Old Skies. Phil. Um, Alright, now. Time to discuss. Yeah, let's discuss. My favorite LP on the channel to this day. Let's play uh -oh. Metroid. It's not Super Metroid, just regular Metroid. Just regular Metroid. Really? 
I love that LP. It's my favorite one to this day. But but Super Metroid had my Sweet 16. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it's not a sw- the LP is not as sweet as LP Metroid. Um, started September 2nd, 2009. And I think one of the reasons why it's my favorite LP, it was around the time, you know, the channel started. It was really, it really got going to where it, we were having so much more fun than we ever did on the Irate Fanboys channel. Yeah. Yeah. We were all having fun, and then Metroid was just a lot of fun commentary. Bear made his debut in that series. Um, he didn't already say a word in his debut, but, you know, that's fine. Um, and uh, that was when, you know, again, we got said, Jeff, want to meet your mom. Um, Jane called the missiles rockets. And, yeah, the Star Soldier, before he did commentaries with us, actually made a kind of a brief cameo debut that I edited in there. Yeah, that's the thumbnail, part one. It shows him a picture of him, and then I pose, you know, I did the, I think it was the Lowell's take, was it? They go, yeah. Guys, this is Star Soldier. Right here. Right here, Jason Masturbation. <laughs> and then Jake sent a private message saying, hey, it's Jason Relaxation, not Masturbation. Screw Star Soldier for Star yeah. <laughs> It's all one the same. Yeah, Charlie was in that one. Um, I remember uh, one part where he goes, okay, let's talk about the word owned. For a minute, there's owned, and then there's pwned, and and I forgot what else he said. <laughs> he said about that word, but um, he was he was in that commentary, and I remember the final part, or it might be then let's discuss, and the part where I beat Mother Brain, where there was a big storm, in uh in my area when I was recording, you could hear the thunder. The thunder was so loud you could hear it through my mic, <laughs> so the thunderstorm is in the LP as well. And so that was pretty cool and very fun uh, LP to do. I really enjoyed it. Commentary was fun. Uh, oh, yeah, and of course, that was the, the debut of ECW mode. Um, <laughs> Green was yeah. that one. Green Tone with a coat, Narpa's sword. And then I'm like, you know what? And FCU 100 is like, oh, man, I really appreciate if you could just play through this whole game. Come on. I go, I can't. I suck at it. I can't beat it. And can't do it. I, I, can't, I can't do it. <laughs> and... But then Green told me the Narpus Sword cord, cord, the Narpus Sword Code, which I never knew about to this day. I just heard of the Justin Bailey Code, but I never heard of Narpus Sword. So thanks to Green and this LP, I found that out. Used it as ECW mode, and yeah. So and then it made for a great LP. It wouldn't have been as great if I would have quit at Part Eight, whatever it was. Was get my butt kicked by Creed, uh, and I really wanted to finish this game. I did thanks to ECW mode and. Green, tell me about it. And, yeah, I mean, I really loved that LP. I thought it was awesome. And then you got hooked on the ECW code for many LPs to come. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, oh, people people say, oh, well, Ronnie cheats in his LPs. So? At least I admit it, first of all. Second, so what? I'm not trying to pose as a speedrunner or a legit player. I'm up front that I suck and I cheat. So It's, it's entertainment value. Exactly. It's not like... Some LPers on YouTube where they suck so bad, but it's so annoying with their annoying commentary and childlike commentary, and they do 300 parts of a, a part just to get past a part, and, you know. <laughs> and, and save and reload states, like, constantly, like every three seconds. Yeah, I mean, and sometimes it's okay to mess up and maybe get a little lost in the game, but it provides for more, you know, off-topic com- commentary. Of course, I know where to draw the line. You know, don't like, uh, you know, be at one part with the past ten parts. Yeah, part twenty. All right, finally, I figured out what to do. <laughs> you know, uh, but Metroid. Uh, you know, I, I felt like the only way I'm gonna beat this game, get the fullness of the LP, is cheat to beat it, and I did. It made for a very fun LP. My personal favorite um, on the channel. I'm surprised you didn't say Shadowgate '64. Oh man, I'm sure you was gonna mention it, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. But, but I sorry. would. But what? since we're talking about it now, let's go ahead and mention Shoutgate 64 J Man's uh, yeah, it's quit uh, thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that whole LP is probably my favorite that I haven't done because that one is it's it's too good. It's too that's uh, that's the quintessential SCK LP right there. Yeah, it was so awesome because that game is like so stupid, but the 
like the stuff that like we all came up with this day was oh, this game is so stupid is this a speed great yes yeah and then <laughs> j-man rage quitting and then <laughs> you know and we of course you know came up with that made that up so that's, right. that was planned all planned beforehand well, actually, uh, in that in that part, if you listen real closely, I was actually laughing towards the end. I was trying to cover it up, but yeah. yeah that's when I made a comment about there being a wooden pony, and I said, "Yeah, but I like to ride that hardwood pony." <laughs> and Jamie just started, pony. and you just started laughing at that, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't help myself." Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was hilarious, and I was hope I was like, "Man, I hope no one heard that." I was rage listening. And people probably did, but didn't notice it, like, really think. Well, yeah. I always planned anyway, the rage quit, but who cares? I mean, it was, it was funny. Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Those moments, on, like, on, on a TV show or a movie, or mainly a TV show, like a, a sitcom, something funny happens in the script, and then you can kind of tell they want to break character and start laughing. Right. So, you know, and then... <laughs> So it's kind of like that. It was funny. Like, J-Man kind of maybe broke character a little bit, and you heard him laugh, but, you know, it, it, was, it was funny. Oh. And I didn't think anybody really did do that LP on the channel. But Gen 2 did it, and it was, it was good stuff. Uh, good commentary. Uh, the game was freaking boring, but we found a way to somewhat make, make, it, uh, make the commentary entertaining. <laughs> Poor, right. Part time. Especially when it mentioned your name in it. Rummer. Yep, that was that part. <laughs> yeah. It was prophesized. That was my favorite part because J Man's comment <laughs> J Man said some of the funniest things in that part. He was like he was like, some guy some random guy appeared and <laughs> J Man goes, Who's this asshole? And <laughs> and then there was other things he said, uh that you said J Man I know what they are. I just got to think of them for a minute, but it was okay. a bunch well, of... Well, one of the guys looked like Mr. Leahy from Trailer Park Boys. I oh. remember that. Oh, my God, color. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, my God, color. It's a speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this is a speed that it moves and just a lot of funny stuff. And, and, and of course, um, who in that part, uh, Gentu, duh, he's the he's LP here. Uh, then you, we guy, was there in that one, or was it just y'all three? Probably all uh, three. He, us three. Might as well have been because we was, you know, using bare references. Oh, we got said a funny thing. Uh, one part where uh, Dale got on top of the dragon and the dragon started uh, moving and flew up. And we got goes, oh, my God, something exciting. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because I was like the most exciting. Like movement was happening, like motion of like, like some kind of epic scene. Yeah, yeah, instead real. of slow moving weird awkward transitions yeah now wasn't there uh supposed to be like extra cut scenes or something like that but like oh yeah he didn't lag, didn't record it because yeah. yeah lag yeah okay that was lame. but he had to do it because there's lag but it was so lame that it had to happen um but good uh, still a good lp um yeah very ecw uh, but I was going to say, before we got on to Shoutgate 64, what memories, do you guys have anything to say about the Metroid LP? Um, I really like the second part where it was uh, just me and you. It was just like a good classic type commentary. Yeah. That was really fun. Yeah. And you was lost like half the video, but like it didn't matter because we just had a good flow going on. Yeah. And uh, get the rockets. Yep. <laughs> rockets, I mean missiles. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Yep. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> All right. And then September 22nd, 2009, let's play Streets of Rage 2. Oh. And what I like to call Streets of ECW. Yep. Um, All the Streets of Rage. Yeah. Um, there was a. Um, I know we get off topic a lot. But the way Charlie did it in that one part was awkward because it wasn't anything that led to another topic. You know how we get off topic when by mentioning something 
and then we kind of get like if I say, oh wow, look at that, look at that headlock right there. Then you go, yeah, headlock like Randy Orton does. And then we start talking about wrestling all of a sudden. You know, how, like we drift off topic. But Charlie just completely did a 180 and started talking about something different right in the middle of <laughs> the gameplay. Like, so I was on Microsoft the other day, and if you type in soy, soy, soy to Microsoft Sam, it'll sound weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like, I remember. Okay, and how, uh, where did that come from? That came out of nowhere. That off-topic comment came from out of nowhere. The way we usually do it, we drift off-topic, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's not just a random switch like that. Yeah, and that's how he did it. But And then I guess he thought it was okay because we get off topic a lot. But the way he did it was like random. I don't know. Anyway. Random Newman. Um, You know, uh, actually, if I can add to that real quick. Um, speaking of random, and this is not like favorite, but it's like the opposite of that. So, yeah, that, that word, whatever it is. <laughs> Normal? Uh, would be... No! Awful. Oh, oh, yes. that opposite uh, of random. Right, yeah, total opposite. Um, would be... I believe it was like the first part of Donkey Kong Country. Oh. Uh, yeah, where it's uh, Charlie and uh, Richard from Review... Yeah, Review Tech USA. Uh, yeah, I really didn't like that commentary because they just... They was talking about, like, what, monkeys fucking... And, <laughs> that shit got weird. I, know. I, I didn't like that at all, but I had already done my, I don't like that, we gotta do it again stuff. Like, I already did that, like, like three or four times, so I was like, okay, I can't keep doing that. So, I kept it. Yeah. I did not like that at all. Yeah. I, and it was just, like, it wasn't what they were talking about, because some of it was actually funny. <laughs> but it was just weird. Like, I remember... Uh, me and you, Ronnie, were just like, what in the fuck just happened? Yeah, that's Rich's uh, sense of humor. Right. I mean, I like Rich's videos. I still right. watch them to this day, even though he don't do really reviews anymore. He just mainly does news articles and stuff. But, yeah. But, I mean, so I like his videos, though. But the thing is, uh, I just kind of wish he stopped with the stupid homosexual humor or monkey sex or whatever he talks about like he'll show a random picture of a guy holding his nipples or there's a there's an alter, alter ego of his called sexy coco and i don't know i mean to me I yeah i mean it's it, you know it's shock value and i i guess i try to do that but i don't go there <laughs> you have drunk value yes there it is and i know he took down the video since then but at least he gave us a shout out and helped us to get over yeah. subscribers that was pretty cool of him, but... but anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's doing his thing, and he's got, like, what, two million subscribers now? And well, not... <laughs> freaking making, what, 100000 a year? And <laughs> and wife, three you kids. Know, I mean, he's doing good for himself. I, I watch Huge house in Hawaii. I watch some, some of his videos from time to time. And, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're entertaining as far as the news part and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't like the stupid Call of Duty games or whatever he, like has going on but whatever i usually just minimize the window and listen but yeah i know you don't like his uh horrible dating experiences videos but i thought those are oh well yeah i i, I like the first one and then he like i i think he started making up shit but anyways that's not what this podcast is like nope. supposed to be about so that's our next topic. podcast horrible dating experiences <laughs> Any, right. back on let's, topic. let's talk shit about <laughs> Review Tech USA podcast. That'll be the next <laughs> one. Hey, they'll get, some, they'll get some, a lot of views. Um, a lot of haters. Anyway. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to uh, ask if we can uh, use it as video response. Yeah. Well, we can't do video responses anymore, remember? What? Yeah, that's been done away with now. Oh, that's bullshit. It's Google's fault. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the retro SC2K podcasts I uploaded recently about new YouTube changes. I, I, I had said in 2009, YouTube really sucked. I can't imagine how in 2010 and so on, how much worse it's going to get. And my God, it's gotten so much worse. We had no idea. <laughs> and I remember J-Man said the ground's the limit. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So Street Race 2 was freaking ECW. Uh, a few people we never heard of again, heard from again, really. 
was in that Codename Dama, which I think is We Got's friend or someone's friend. I don't know. Code, Codename Dama? What? Codename, what? <laughs> Codename Dama. He was in one of your, he was in your, uh, dang, I forgot. Uh, no, I don't think he was in your LP. I think he posted a comment under Spy Hunter or something like that. He, he was like, awesome, awesome, Spy Hunter. No, it was Battle Clash. One of your Battle Clash videos, he posted a comment saying, this is awesome, like, because he loved Battle Clash or Falcon's Revenge. I don't even know who that person is. That's Tom. Uh, no, Battletoads? I, never mind, he wasn't in there. He was in the Streets of Rage LP. He was a friend of Charlie, I think. And then Blackgate Studios is a friend of Icon Buster. And Blackgate Studios did a wrestling podcast with us as well. But other than that, they never did any more uh, commentaries with us. But they were in Street Rage 2, and, of course, Charlie's going to be in that one because that's the Sega game. And, yeah, love Street Your Rage or Street Your Roy Rage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's pretty. <laughs> um, now, J-Man, I know you've done maybe three LPs on the channel, but do you have any in particular that you really want to talk about? Uh, Night Trap. Dino, oh. Nice. <laughs> No. And the only reason I say that is because we've already talked about uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Goblins. Which is, I mean, it, you know, it's a it, it's a challenging game, and yeah, the crap about having to do it again twice. Um, Night Trap was awesome for me, simply because I just, like, completely took somebody else's videos off of YouTube, and... <gasps> Roll right back on. We did commentary. It was great. Plagiarism? No. <laughs> well, I mean, it was, you know, it's it's not actually stealing. You can do that. It's and it's completely legal. It cannot be taken down because it's uh, it's within the guidelines or whatever. Yeah, because night trap footage is not differentiable or whatever the word is. <laughs> well, I mean, it's uh, you know, it's. Something or other. It's always going to have the same <laughs> turnout, the Night Trap footage. I mean, you can have different footages of, but hell, Shadow Gate 64. But Night Trap, same right. shit. Right, and <laughs> it wasn't made by Nintendo, so I'm yeah, pretty yeah. safe. <laughs> yeah, Sig ain't going to sue over Night Trap videos <laughs> or whatever. Whoever. However, uh, doesn't like Nintendo own Sega? Well, I mean, Sega. Well, pretty much does. You know, well, I mean, they don't own. They just make games for them, so yeah, they're. Well, I mean, they're Sega's their bitch, so it doesn't Sega matter. Sega makes games for all the companies, but I guess yeah, they have a thing with. They're uh, Nintendo's bitch. Come on. Yes. Well, it's a party company. I mean, within within so is Capcom, and so is uh, they're the third party company. Right, but uh, they weren't trying to battle Nintendo. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true, but they don't own Sega. Sega owns Atlas, actually. Well, they own them in the way like. Uh, pwned. Yeah, I guess. But, anyway. Um, yeah, Night Trap, that was fun commentary. You got freaking fake yeah. Keith Slater uh, in the game trying to brush his teeth all the time. What the heck? <laughs> and little, little J-Man, which I'm not happy about, but whatever. We gotta mention it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was fun commentary. That was fun. Uh, Alright, so is that it, J-Man? Oh, no, I got, I got another one, but it's, uh, it's not mine. But, uh, Shadowgate. Ah, uh, original. Yeah. Yes, where we did the, uh, the, the guess how many deaths there's going to be, and I did it twice. Yay! Gosh dang it. That was one of my top favorite LPs overall. Probably maybe number three. Agreed. Probably number three, uh, I don't know what number two would be, but Metroid number one, then Shadowgate might be maybe number three or four of all the LPs we've done on the channel. That was a lot of fun. That was, that was. That was so awesome. And part three were <laughs> Bears trying to keep score. <laughs> and he goes, J-Man needs five more. We got need six more. And Riga goes, I need seven more dips. <laughs> seven more, you dipshit. Yeah, <laughs> calling him out on his incorrectness. Yeah, and and then we got was laughing real hard, like, <laughs> and then and then you go. <laughs> The car never starts. The car never starts. It does. The, the car dies. That's another death. I think that's when my voice kind of actually went out because that was that was a that was a hard car thing I did there. 
<laughs> this, shut up, Shaman. My, my roommate, my roommate Zach, was in part one with me and Bear. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Huh? I said, "Oh, I'm sorry, you and Bear." <laughs> yeah, that's like God versus Satan. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> very fun, very fun. <laughs> very easy to. Uh oh, we got George McFly. Oh uh, no, <laughs> no George McFly, not today. <laughs> well, here's something you can laugh about. We got it was Sweet Sixteen. Uh, let's play Super. Yeah. Yep, I was also in a car in one part. <laughs> Yeah, that was yes, sir, for that. Yes. Commentating that freaking car because I couldn't have any p- quietness in the house, so I had to move out into the car. <laughs> and the people probably walking by saying, "What the heck is he doing? What a, what a weirdo!" Yeah. Probably so addicted he can't even stay in the house. Yeah. There was one part called "Let's Play Super PMS Droid." Yeah. Well. <laughs> and there was no girls around. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's like super random off-topic Metroid. I forgot. <laughs> we probably just pissed Samus off so much that. <laughs> and Mother Brain, she's pissed already, and yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, Super Metroid, very fun LP. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man, I was was thinking of one of the LPs. I mean, it's funny. But in the sense that it was kind of infamously just kind of bad and kind of a train wreck after like the first half, and that is <laughs> that's oh. Chrono Trigger. Oh, oh, I, I thought you were talking about Mario RPG, but no, actually that one, that one actually wasn't bad. It it, it was a mess in the first part because Bear redid it like three times, and then we finally got to the end. But that was Chrono, Tr- Chrono Trigger. Like halfway through, got really. It got weird. It got really weird and really dragged on a bit. I'll see what you said. I said some racist shit. <laughs> oh, in Mario RPG. In Mario RPG, yes, you have. But it was that was what made that LP great. Because when the star power makes the black turn white, how, how can you go wrong? Yeah. Well, yeah, Chrono Trigger. That's not what I meant, though. Well, okay, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, that- Trigger. But not, uh, I don't know. Is that what you I think mean, I wasn't trying to be racist. I was trying to be funny. Well, first you're trying to be racist and wrath the Black Manta. Then you do it again and... <laughs> Come on. No. Yeah, but, like, I got to edit the first one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was in charge of the editing in that time. Yeah. Mario RPG. Uh, yeah, RP, Mario RPG, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Chrome Trigger? Yeah. Chrome, Chrome Trigger? Um... You know, I did the first, what, 13 parts, and then I gave up on it because I can't beat the game, and then Bear did the rest. Bear yeah. did the rest. I just posed as the LP here, because um, Bear wanted me to wanted to see the LP finish. I said, well, all right, well, you do it then, because I can't, I can't beat the game. Uh, I could, but there's too much work just to get the LP finished, and I didn't feel like, you know, grinding a lot or doing all this and that, looking at tutorials and all that stuff and Bear can run through it easily so alright you do it and then I'll feel like I'm hosting it and we'll just uh, you know like I'll, I'll give Bear the credit for it now but you know and during the LP we made some inside jokes about that saying hmm it's as if Bear actually knows what you're going to do next Ronnie hmm it's as if Bear's playing it himself <laughs> <laughs> and that was fun it's kind of a train wreck, train wreck at the end honestly I kind of got bored of the LP probably because I wasn't even playing it but yeah. I just wasn't. It's a great game, but I'm not into RPGs. So toward the end, I yeah. got no more. The For most like there were some parts on there that was funny. I mean, you got me, Heather, and Danny uh, in the first two parts. They requested that, that I do that, or Heather requested that I do the LP. And then you got part eight, where it's me, Venom, and Angel. That was hilarious commentary. Then you got the yeah. infamous. I forgot what part it was. Part six or seven, maybe, where two girls went inside. Him. A Ghost Brew make uh, his one and on, only debut. <laughs> yeah. Forever shunned and made fun of for the rest of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not shunned, but definitely made fun of. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was. That's probably the most fun train wrecked LP we've we've had. <laughs> he even knows what he did. 
he knows how much it sucked. He's he's mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, and like, what was it? it? Was like part twenty where like the commentary was on the wrong part. Like, how the hell did that even happen? Did, it was Bear was like editing like those parts like near the end. He mixed up the commentary. It was messed up. Yeah, and then J Man made that reference in Slam City, which is another one. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Well, I mean, that was on my channel, but okay. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, and, but anyway, he made the he made that reference on there, and I watched it. He goes, Jimmy goes, uh, yeah, but we want to, but we don't want to pull a Ronnie here. And I'm sitting there watching, and have no idea what the heck y'all talking about. I didn't get the reference. I'm like, I post a comment. Right, it was Bear doing the video for me. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, doing the gameplay for me. Yeah, but see, I didn't know what y'all talked about referring to Trigger. Because I didn't notice that yet. And then Bear took it down and re-uploaded it with the right commentary. And I said, oh, well, I didn't do that. Bear did. <laughs> yeah. But and, then we had, and then you had part 14, which was probably the longest part where there was one commentary. It was a 44-minute part. Oh, my God. I remember just, like, trying to come up with things. It was like, oh, God, I can't do this. I watched that recently, and uh, Viper posted a comment saying, it's probably the best 44 minutes I've spent here on YouTube. Well, hopefully. He, he I mean, must God not dang. do very much. Well, I'm glad he, and someone enjoyed it. I mean, but and the one part, I got Green in trouble with his mom. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. it, it Del P did so many bad things to people. <laughs> and I said, uh, and Green's mom came into the room, and then uh, Green was listening to it uh, right there, and his mom walked in, and he goes, What? Your friend's talking trash about me? That's it. You're not getting your money. Yeah. And Lee slams the door. And then Green posted a call or told me on Facebook or Skype, Man, dude, you got me in trouble with my mom. And so she, almost, uh, she almost put out a hit on him. Yes. <laughs> so I think in part 14, I put in the description box what happened. I said, In the previous part, we got Green in trouble. <laughs> Oh, man, that LP was a train wreck on so many levels. But anyway, um, here's a good LP that we did around the first or at the end of 2009, beginning 2010. Let's play Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. Oh, yeah. yeah good oh, one. yeah, that was fun. I love that. That was another famous uh, STK saying, uh, dang it, Bear, too soon. Too yep. <laughs> Tubular. I love Patrick Swayze. Yeah, but... Too soon. You're too soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's too good. It was also in part two where J-Man was with the commentary with me, Angel, and the Unknown. Yes, that was my favorite. And that was some pretty random stuff. And J-Man, not familiar with Angel or the Unknown, kind of wanted to keep quiet a little bit. But it was, it was fun. It was fun commentary and... Yeah, that was on New Year's Eve. We did that. 2009, it was uploaded. Yeah, that was awesome. 2010, yeah, that was that was fun stuff. Yeah, and then I made up other names for it. Was uh, Let's Play Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Rookie, or uh, Return of the Karate Novice. Yeah, so that was definitely a fun, a fun LP and a great game. I still love. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't. I don't really like Sega that much at all. <laughs> Big surprise. Um, but I do like that game. Um, and the last part was awesome as well. Yeah. Um, here's one of my top favorites on the S2K channel: Star Tropics. Whoa! Oh, the second time. This might be my second favorite. <laughs> yeah, the second time I forgot about that. <laughs> this might be my second favorite on the channel. Star Tropics, Star really? with 2010. Um, oh yeah, that was pretty good. I loved that, and most of y'all didn't even know what the heck it was. And no, I knew it was because of HVGN. What? Oh, whatever. I had Nintendo Power. Yeah, well, I'm talking. <sighs> Youngin, you, shut it. I remember you guys saying, oh, "I never played this game. Oh, I never heard of it. Death fan never even heard of it." And that fan was in the LP, and this is how oh, this is fun. Very underrated game. It's a fun game. I use the ECW mode, and yeah, there is a bunch of a uh, bunch of funny commentary in this one. Um, there was one part called 
let's play Star Soldier Tropics. <laughs> and let's play ECW Tropics. And yeah, that was uh Oh wait, my favorite, let's point at Star Tropics. <laughs> the mouse in the recording. <laughs> yeah. That was totally on accident. <laughs> okay, I just came across uh in my list here. Let's play Drunky Kong Country Part Four. Drunky yeah. Kong Country. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Ronnie said a cuss word. No, um, Funky Kong, man. <laughs> Funky. Nope. It was Funky Kong. <laughs> oh, Funk you. Okay. Um, Fuck and, off. All right. Here's another top one. Probably number four. My top four. Let's play Batman for the Indiana. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was, oh, yes, of course, you know what came from that one. You know what quote came uh, from? Kids don't do drugs or you can get shot to death by Batman. <laughs> what is it? Here we go, Skull Castle. Oh. Uh, yep. Funny. Oh, hilarious. Billy Mitchell was in that one. Billy Mitchell? Yes. I can't believe it. Awesome. Yep. Uh, that was part three. Part one got over a thousand views. Oh yeah, it was awesome. It was so good, we had to do it twice. <laughs> well, I mean... Because well, my Pamela fucked up, was why, but... Well, and I took over. But it's it's then... so good that we did that, because it was so much better the second time. That was part of the marathon we, that y'all did. Uh, we did We did like so many commentaries that night. Well, no, the, yeah, the, the, the part three with the Mr. Billy Mitchell. Yeah, that start with Billy Mitchell, uh, last part of Batman... And Jerry the Silliest, and I believe a Batman Return of the Joker was in that one. Yeah, 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 that one. Um, I like the, the original Batman LP better than Return of the Joker. Oh, yeah, I mean, Joker, Return of the Joker is still pretty good. Not as memorable, but it was still fun. Of course, of course. When I said uh, Moonhard, what was it, Moonhard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Moonhard Shine. Yeah. And part one has 28 thumbs up, two thumbs down. Um... Uh, I love that LP. Very fun LP. I still go back and watch it. Especially part two, I think, was the Skull Castle reference. Um, and then I said Moon Hard, and of course Bear. I'm getting hard watching this. <laughs> God dang it, Bear. Yeah, and then uh, Bear goes, Hey, Billy Mitchell, why do you suck? <laughs> and then uh, Billy Mitchell goes, At least I have a job. That's right. <laughs> I can't beat that. Yeah, and you and you wanted him to uh, release his stuff on VHS, and yeah, he said, "No, I was thinking about DVDs." Yeah, I really. <laughs> Come on, sauce. Whatever happened to that guy? I don't know. That's kind of wondering. Huh. I think uh, Mr. Steve Weeby took him out. No. <laughs> he like left YouTube and then came back real quick and took out Mr. Billy Mitchell. <laughs> what, do you think? King of Kong what do you too. think, we guy? I think that Mr. Billy Mitchell should come back to an LP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What, well, what, what would he do? I don't know. We have we got to choose a game that we know he can be. He can he can have he has experience in or he, something of the sorts. Well, like uh, Pac Man or something. Sure. Yeah. Next LP, Pac Man. One, Pac two, and three. Pac-Man for the Amiga. The Pac, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, 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 Tengen Pac-Man. Uh, oh, you would love Miss Pac-Man, wouldn't you? I, I, I do love Miss Pac-Man. I do love her. <laughs> you you want uh, Miss Pac-Man Jr. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Looks like, uh-oh, NSA, NSA, NSA's watching here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think you just realized that Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man are the same. No. No! No! You know, Pac-Man just took a bow. No. Like, oh. Hey, no, I watched Wayne's World. He was like, pow, now I'm Miss Pac-Man. I know it was arcade. He told me that Miss Pac-Man has a bow in her head. You know it was arcade? What the hell is no. up? Wayne's World. Oh. Oh, okay. That's not his name. That's his store, but it's no way. Okay. Carry. Whatever. Oh, speaking of Wayne's World, we did Wayne's World on the NES. Oh, wait. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't. Good. I, ac but I actually had that planned. I was really going to do that, but never went through. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what did go through. Let's play Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. Yes. 
Awesome. That was good. But Star Soldiers, that's disgusting. Jay getting butt hurt because we didn't email him first. <laughs> yep. But that was a very fun LP to do. An awesome game. Oh, yeah. That's my second favorite Turtles game uh, behind the arcade game. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So, and, it's always oh, good. Oh, you know what? I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Um, Metroid is not my favorite LP on the channel. <gasps> this one is right here. Let's take a dump on Double Dragon 3 Genesis Edition. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, not really, but we got to talk about that one because it's so horrible. It's kind of awesome. The only unfinished LP on the channel. Uh, actually, part one was decent because, you know, it, you can hear it. Part two wasn't up. It was part two. It was part two. That was uh, terrible. And part oh, but part one. The only thing I hate about part one. Okay, this is when. Um, okay, we just did the April Fool's joke and everybody think making people think me and J Man were were hating each other. Um, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, what happened? What happened was April first. You know, it's April Fool's joke. It was let out already. Everybody knows it was a joke. Um, and Charlie was real mad about it because he thought, I guess, we, we were aiming it toward him or he's mad at himself because he fell for it when he thought me and me and Jamie had turned on each other. And so we were going to do this. I think that same night, though, that same night, we were recording part one of Double Dragon 3. And Green's like, what, what should I give it? Like, Lowell's Productions? No, nah, that's been used already. What, what, what name can I give it? And then we're trying to think, and then Angel goes, how about Strictly Butthurt Productions? Yep. And like that's hilarious, dude. Yes, so Charlie can see that. That'd be funny. But see, Green didn't upload it until a month or almost two months later, May twenty second, two thousand ten. He uploads it. So it says strictly butt hurt. So it looked like we, we were, were talking still, shit. We we're still talking trash to Charlie when that April Fool's joke is way past already. I think that was when he finally unsubscribed from the S2K channel. Probably thought they're still attacking me. And that, that, that joke's old now, mate. Because Green freaking waited forever to get it uploaded. And we, well, we talked about it for, what, like, uh, about 30 seconds, and then it was like, eh, oh well. Yeah. One star power. Yeah. And, which is what J-Man did to the closed captioning of Batman. <laughs> One star power. Yeah. But anyway, Double Dragon 3, part 2 is still uploaded with horrible audio quality and oh well it's for the lulls it was like fun doing that part but then like when we seen it it was like oh man yeah really oh he think i wasn't a part of that yeah and he never finished it that's right that's right he never did finish it well <laughs> good <laughs> <laughs> all right now um in the summer 2010 i started Mega Man x one two and three so that was pretty fun. Th those were pretty fun to do, especially X2 and X3. With J-Man, We Got and Bear, and Green was in some of those. Those commentaries are pretty fun for the X-Series. Yeah. Yes. Don't remember much, but I, it's still good times. Like, uh, you beat the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, there were some names like, let's play Mega Man X-Men, let's play Mega Man X-Girlfriend, let's play Mega Man XFL. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, good times. Uh, not one of my top favorite LPs on the channel, but I remember doing that back in the summer. Uh, Gen 2's and some of those. And, uh, yeah, pretty fun LP to do. Uh, the X series on the Super Nintendo is pretty fun. And then, not, my, not one of my top LPs, but kind of fun to talk about. Let's play Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Uh, oh. Uh, bears. Bears. Well, let's just make fun of Bear LP. That's pretty much it. <laughs> This is part one. We also did part two of Chippendales, which got what was in, uh, was uploaded uh, as unlisted for a week and then finally went public. Yep, that was uh, that was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Forever remains the lowest viewed video on the channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay, and I know Jamie and probably want to mention this, but I like it, so I'm going to mention it. Let's play Super Ghouls and Goblins or Ghosts. Um, 
That was that was a pretty fun LP. Good game. I really enjoyed doing commentary on that. Oh, me too. Uh, that was the uh, creation of Doctor Asshole. <laughs> oh, actually, no. That came about in Mega Man X two. Okay, well, it was the more important creation of Doctor Asshole. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was my LP. Because I was saying, uh, and I think it's, it's one part in Mega Man X two. I forgot the exact part, but I was in Flame Stag stage. And I think Barry goes, well, why would Dr. Wally create this robot master to do this? And I go, it's not Dr. Wally, it's uh, Sigma. He goes, uh, well, then why would Dr. Asshole? <laughs> and so there was a birth of that, but yeah, I guess, it, yeah, yeah, and Super Ghouls and Go- Goblins, or ah, whatever it's called. The no, v- Super Ghouls and Ghosts. The video was called, Let's Play Super Ghouls and Goblins, dot, 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 I mean ghosts. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, August 5th, 2010. Uh, very good video. 637 views, 12 thumbs up, no thumbs down. Thank you, Cisco and Ebert. Proud accomplishment. Thumbs up. And, yeah, a good game and good commentary. There's one part, though, where I was really off my game. I think we had to redo it because it might have been part two, um, but I was just like, I had something on my mind at the time, something, I guess, personal. I was daydreaming a lot about it. And I didn't say much in the commentary. And after the recording, J-Man was like, well, Ryan didn't hardly say anything. And, and I'm like, yeah, I apologize. I had something on my mind. I kind of forgot what it was at the time. But then we redid it. And then I got my head in the game. Like, all right, just come on, Ronnie, do this. Come on. And then, but then we did it. And, yeah, we had fun. So it was a good time. Um, okay. And then, yeah, Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2, which we're not going to talk about. Uh, <laughs> good. Well, well, actually, part five only got 20 views. That's probably the one that... Um, yeah, yeah, I think that was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Views, three thumbs up, no comments. All right, so... Yeah. Exactly, so... That's all to say about that, and... Okay, I'm scrolling through the... Pam was going. All right. And yes, we got to appreciate this. Let's play Street Fighter 2010. Uh, that was an LP I did. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Very fun LP. Not a fan of the game, but after seeing the whole game, I realized it's not that bad. It's kind of weird, but it's called Street Fighter, so it's disappointing. <laughs> so Yeah. But not a bad game. Uh, made by Capcom. Decent Decent to good soundtrack, made for a pretty fun commentary. So that was I enjoyed doing that LP on the channel. I, yeah, I, I don't I don't like their outlook on the future because like you know we did it in 2010 and like I didn't see none of that shit. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's gonna be like Back to the Future. Right, exactly. I'm I'm gonna get mad in about a year and two months. Because I don't have a fucking flying car. This is bullshit. <laughs> no hoverboard. God dang it. I know. That's. Well, I mean, you know, like, at least it wouldn't be pink. Yeah. You know, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and another LP I liked. Let's play Donkey Kong Country Two. Uh, that is another un- that's another underrated one to me. That's probably like the most underrated LP like I have done. It's pretty lengthy, like twelve, thirteen, twelve parts. Yeah, all good stuff. There was some good stuff. Yeah, there there was. I swear. God damn it. Uh, yeah, very fun game. Uh, definitely uh, left some fun commentary. Yeah, I remember there was something with the. Uh, it was Jamin. Jamin did. S- I remember something Jamin said. So I, I don't remember what it was, but God damn, I will rewatch and I will comment on the video saying what it was, redeeming myself. Well, I'll tell you what had fun commentary. This one might be number five on my list. <laughs> um, LPs. Let's play The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, no. Oh, y- <laughs> oh yes. Good memories. Good memories. I wasn't even in this one at all. But I loved it. It was funny. Gentoo's those episode. those were insane. Gentoo's <laughs> one, where Cornshack did a video response to part one, which is nice. Um, and so part two is definitely my favorite. Uh, I think uh, Gentoo put in the description box. Uh, t- he says something about the adventures of 
Rockwe and Bull Gentoo. That was me, because I was editing and uploading his videos. Oh, okay. We got what to do with it. And then you had Double Rocky, Double, d double, double Rocky, Double Bullwinkle. Right. As J-Man and We Guy were Rocky, and then Bear and Gentoo were Bullwinkle. Yep. Yeah, the f yeah, you and you and Bear and Jamin were like the uh, <laughs> the failed abortions of Rocky and Bullwinkle. The version. I think we did a better job because we, I, no, 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 you were we, a terrible uh, Rocky. Way more evil. We were way more evil. Do evil? God, you sound like a freaking five-year-old pubescent child. <laughs> we were the love childs of um, like if if Rocky fucked Natasha and Bullwinkle fucked Boris. We were the love children. No, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No. I have Me to. And Gen 2. I have to say that Gen 2, we got definitely did a better impression. Oh, well, suck. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> we got Gen like, uh, Dana, I, I, there's one thing, one quote I remember. Not it was, just, hey, we were just, we were on the liquor, and that's why. But there was one part where Jamie, like, we got supposed to say something, and Jamie goes, no, no, F your Rocky boys for a minute. What the f*** is going on with this stupid background here? Look at this background. Yeah, like, that game was weird. Nope, was I still weird. kept in character. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, it's stupid, it's unimaginative, I mean, uncreative. <laughs> and, yeah, me and Jinsu were, well, actually, no. Didn't you broke a bit, but I I stayed in it the character full on until the let's discuss. Yeah, and of course, uh, yeah, we got rage in the let's discuss. The best rage, and like you, you never would have seen that coming, and neither did I. That was like spawn on. I decided to change it right in the middle to just rage. And Venom was hilarious. Venom was just rolling, laughing so hard during your raging. There's nothing comprehensively good. That's horrible. This game up, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, plagiarism, plagiarism. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, man, flagged for plagiarism. Yeah, but that was funny. We got raging at the end. Venom posted a comment saying that. Oh man, that was that was funny. Funny LP. Part of me kind of wishes I was in it, but it's good enough without me, and I probably would have made it less good if I was in it. So, I mean, that was a good time. Now, um, wasn't there uh, uh, color of a dinosaur? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I don't, I would not, no, no, there was not Color Dinosaur, thank goodness. It's on YouTube's channel. <laughs> yeah, Jen's who made some shit on his, on his channel. Oh, no, some no. shit. <laughs> I, I would not. Uh, Color a shit a sort. <laughs> brown. Yeah. Yep. What can brown do for you? <laughs> that could be a president name. Purple Purple is laughing so hard she had to leave the room. She is <laughs> What can Brown do for you? <laughs> Don't ask what what you God, she She's is. losing her shit. Is she having a uh Gentoo on steroids moment? A, no, she she's having a shit attack. <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> She's like almost rolling. She's almost rolling on the floor laughing. She's so. almost venoming on what's, the floor. What's the what's the symbols you use for that? Like the RF. What is those? R O R O F L copter. Rolling on the floor laughing. Whatever. The Raffle copter. <laughs> well, they added extra like symbols. Too. Rolling on that. Yeah, they just add customs. Like, yeah. Wait, F and A and. Uh, copter fucking, and rolling yeah, on okay. the fucking floor laughing my ass off. It's almost a paragraph. Yeah. You're done with it. Copter, <laughs> copter. What is what is purple laughing about? <laughs> the, all the, the color shit. Color dinosaur. Oh, color shit a sore. <laughs> right? When, yeah, when I like added shit to it. <laughs> yeah. Poop makes things funny. With the poopasaurus. <laughs> Not when you say it, we guy. You would eat poop. What? I wasn't, it's just, uh, god damn it. It's only, like, I can only make her laugh when I'm, like, not trying to be funny. His dumbest humor is the yeah. only one that I say I the stupidest shit funny. in the world. Yeah. Yeah, my humor is dumber. Dumb and dumber. I, I've done it before, too. Like, I try to be serious about something, and people start laughing. Yep, yeah, I feel you. Funny, I was being serious. <laughs> yep. Oh, really? Oh. What it's like. <laughs> and, but anyway... Here's another very funny LP from Gen 2. Let's uh -oh. play Terminator 2, Judgment Salt. 
Judgment Salt. <laughs> Never oh, forget the salt. Sing it, that, that, that Bible game. What was that? <laughs> the, the Veggie Land, Candy Land, whatever. Bible else. Buffet. Yeah, Bob oh, yeah. Back. yeah. That never, yeah, that never fin- finalized. That was scrapped. <laughs> Candyland for good reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That that if that was still that would be the most racially insensitive LP. <laughs> and it was just like me and Bear and like Jinsu. I think it, I don't know it, if Ron was a part it of that. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> I don't yes. think Ron was a part of that because obviously that was just a recipe for disaster. I think it was just... <laughs> I'm not Are you? one. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of the parts, but not I. All I know is the bear was he was off his he was off something or on some ah uh, who knows he was he was off his rock he was insane he was, he was on and off at the same time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Terminator Two. LP, pretty fun. Real fun LP. That's our classic trilogy, or uh, not trilogy, classic three of us, me and Jintu, just making fun of all co- sorts of in jokes. Yeah. That was fun stuff right there. Um, oh yeah. Let's play Battle Clash. I like that. But Star Soldier didn't. No, I mean, I like the LP, but yeah, the, I like the game too, of course. And yeah. Yeah. I, had to, I had to over-exaggerate my perfect score to the game because he didn't like it. I, I, so I did it. Star Sword is like, what? What are you talking about? We got that game blows. That game sucks. All you do is shoot. And <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I trolled him. I trolled him real good. <laughs> yeah, I, I got him. Okay, and another video I'm looking at here. It says. LP Super Mario RPG real this time. For reals. And yeah, that was the real beginning of that it's, LP. It's still real to me. Yeah, after like the third take. Yeah. I don't even like I don't even remember that. Was I even in that? I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, black turn white. Yeah, though well, yeah, I mean part five, six, but <laughs> I love how Bear uploaded and he said, We guy will fix it. And it's like, Nope, I'll never fix it. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. It will forever remain. Yeah. No, I, was, uh, I, I was on vacation in the uh, Cayman Islands. What? Where was I? This is before I met you. Oh. <laughs> no, wait, I was, uh, I was in the Bahamas. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that was it. Yeah. Um,. Now, I was very disappointed in this because of this uh, LP that we're going to do, but we got... I thought, we were, I thought it was favorite LPs, not the most disappointing LPs. <laughs> well, we've, uh, we've already gone through that, and so now we're getting to the, like, the, the most of the LPs that we've done. <laughs> <laughs> All the LPs. <laughs> now, I want to talk about the LP that never happened because we got computer crashed. <gasps> yes! Let's, oh, you... Let's play Donkey Kong Country 3. No, I had parts. Oh, yeah, I had the parts. I just never <laughs> uploaded them. Or did I upload them and I took them down because I was like, yeah, because I was... No, wait, no, no, because I wouldn't do that. Well, I let's, just play, had, I, let's play We Guys Mine. Something happened. Because there that was, was a good <laughs> LP right there. Oh, man. There was never... But then We Guys lost it or something, and there was one part where we beat that level... And I said something about okay. So when you beat the when you beat the time, the race time is that where the guy drops his log into the water, and then <laughs> and then you enter the, the next level or something like that, and then we all start busting out laughing. And yeah. The daggum good LP commentary wise, and oh, I got lost, and that's so great. Freaking reformatting. <laughs> well, if you would if you would have let Bear do uh, part two. <laughs> I had like six parts we done, did, done, did, uh, done goofs, done, did, I, yeah, I, I, I fudged it, I fudged it hard. Well, let's talk about an LP that did make it to YouTube, the next one I'm looking at here, from We Got, Uh-oh. this is uploaded around the time I moved out of my apartment and into a, my new house, let's play Mega Man. The first one, because I was able to beat it, legit. And that was fun commentary right there. Um, oh, oh yeah, there was like, wasn't it like you and Bear, you, me, and Bear in the like first two parts, or was it J-Man? No, it was me and J-Man and Bear in the first two parts. I was right, uh, and I was trying to give advice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah th- terrible advice that didn't pan oh, out. Oh bullshit! Uh, 
Yeah, I, I pretty much ripped through that game uh, live. Yeah. Let's On my see. channel, check it out, Jamie, 460 for one. There was a later podcast where me and Star Soldier got in an argument, kind of like how we guy and Star Soldier argued over Battle Clash, and me and Star Soldier started arguing over Mega Man 1. I said it sucked. Well, I, it didn't, I said it wasn't all that good, and Star Soldier's like, what? What are you talking about? Mega Man 1's a great game, dude. <laughs> and I was like, eh, not really. But <laughs> but some of the soundtrack in the game, especially the one of Dr. Wally's tracks, pretty good. Um, but it was a fun LP. I enjoyed doing that. I think my first LP I participated in, what? The first one? <laughs> the first one you participated in? Yeah, the first LP I started in since moving out of my apartment into my new house. I remember. Oh, I was about to say, did like a new age of Ramor begin? <laughs> anyway, uh, my, <laughs> <laughs> May 21st, the day after Randy Savage passed away, Aww. May 21st, 2011, and then after Judgment Day. Um, yeah, that was pretty much the end of the world. Yeah, I started my uh, new LP in my new house. Oh, it's called Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. <gasps> oh, that was a great one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> shut up, Jamin. You weren't a part of that. You shut you up. Shut yeah, yeah. up. Jamin does not like Simon's Quest. You suck. Is it like, is it like Simone's Quest? Yeah. And that was... Oh, yeah. you, like, uh, you like Deeper's Quest. <laughs> Made a quick uh, tribute to Macho Man in, in Part One because we did it the day after he died. Yep. And but it was a fun piece throughout the whole summer, 2011, into June. We finished it in June. Star Soldier, one of my other roommates, was in it. Um, and uh, Alpha Six Two One was in it. Uh, That's his first and only commentary he's ever done. Uh, he was in another video S Two K, but he had audio problems, so he didn't really get to talk at all. So. One of the Castlevania videos, Castlevania 2, was the only real commentary ever did on the channel. And, yeah, so I really enjoyed uh, uh, that LP of Simon's Quest. What do you say we got? Yeah, for sure. We were a part of that in a lot. A lot in the, of Castlevania 2. It was a lot of me and you, and it was good. And then we had Star Soldier Bear. doing its usual thing. Yeah, Bear was in some part. <laughs> of course, of course. And Barrett contributed so much. Yeah. <laughs> I mysteriously wasn't around. <laughs> well, you in part yeah, yeah, weren't you moving here or something? Or, or moving there to Texas or something? No, that was here. Uh, this was uh, actually, yeah, a year before I moved. Yeah. What was that? Too soon. Yeah. Too soon. Yep. Um, then the next LP after that, starting on June 27, 2011, let's play Mega Man 2. Yeah, you fall that yes. up. Yes, I loved. And of course, my favorite video game of all time, Mega Man Two. That was actually it was up. Part one was uploaded in June of that year, 2011. But it was actually started uh, like the night or the night before I moved out of my apartment. If you see my moving out video, you can see part of that of us working on the commentary. And I didn't get part one uploaded until later on because of a. Uh, I guess I decided to do Simon's Quest first, and then finally Mega Man 2, and then finished moving, transitioning, and all that. Then finally got started on Mega Man 2, and you know, of course I'm going to love that one, because that's my favorite video game of all time. And of course that led for some uh, good commentary, and there was a change in it, though, because I wasn't going to have Skip Rogers' real voice edited in there, but that was too much work. I said, screw it, and scrap that, and <laughs> just don't have Skip Rogers in it at all. This is... Let's just do it with us in it, and yeah, no skip. Yep, we skip. Well, yeah, you, you can't you can't do it like Beltino. Yeah, yeah, I can do. Well, I mean, I was gonna have skips for voice like I used to on the Skip Rogers channel, but I know, but yeah, and we can't do it. Be yeah. sure, be sure to make a bad. Yeah. Og. Um. Ah, we guys' personal favorite, I guess. Let's play. Let's play Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge. Yeah, and none of you understood the game and didn't like it as much. And I was like, "Come on, you love, you gotta love it." Yeah, and it was stupid. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, you just well, I mean, Stars was was you know positive because he likes it better than Battle Clash. Yeah, he can understand if I gave that one a perfect ten because legitimately, it's a it's a damn good underrated game that. That's a fantastic lore that I wish would have been explored more. Yeah. There will ever be a sequel. I want it to be on Metal Combat because... 
Too good. Too good. Yeah. All, All right. right. September 12, 2011. Let's play Barbie. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, I missed that. What do you say, Purple? That's Purple's LP. That game... Wow. <laughs> Just no. see... Did you ever see the video? Yes. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Uh, no. People probably don't realize this. I did. I also did a Let's Check Out Barbie on my channel back in 2008. Yep, I've seen it. <laughs> and I got fired for that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my boss at work saw that video on my Rumble channel. I was like, hey, yeah, I saw your um, your Barbie video on YouTube. Pretty gay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you got a uh, pay cut. Yeah, I got a pay cut. And actually, that same boss was wanting to be in Let's Play Barbie for the S2K, but he was just not able to do it. And we right. started putting it back, so me, Bear, and J-Man finally did it. Well, I mean, he kept saying, push it, push it, push it. So Yeah, and... <laughs> push the shit real good. And yep. for you who listen to the Horrible Job Podcast Part 1 or 2, whatever, no, it's not the same Mr. Push It, Push It. But, uh, if it was, I wouldn't have in my videos. I want that gone freaking, well, freaking videos, but... <laughs> Yeah, Barbie for the NES, of course, you know, of course we weren't going to enjoy the game, but for commentary, just for, I don't know, what term do you use, shock value, or whatever, I don't know, not shock value, but lulls value, we decided to play Barbie for the NES, and... I was there, we talked about the music. Yeah. Yeah, wait, you were in that one? No, if, if I was there, I wasn't, if I was in the LP. Wait for you to do 8-bit stereo. Yeah, coming soon, I got... Prepared. Oh, you'll, you'll get trolled for that. You'll get haters flagged. Oh, people will know. I've, you know. Oh, you'll get murdered. No, I'm it's, just it's a good soundtrack. You, you didn't pay attention. You're busy hating it. You can't say anything positive. Soundtrack sucks. I, I know, right? Come on, come on, Ronnie. Oh, it's, uh, it's not the best. Come on, we Ronnie. guys on a different level. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about a different game? Uh, let's play Super Mario Brothers Part One. Or, yeah, first Mario Brothers. and wasn't in that one either. That was during a time when I was, like, just not there. <laughs> yeah. And so we did that one uh, in like September 2011. And then, of course, we did two, Mario 2 and 3 after that. And part, Mario 3, if you remember, we got Mario 3, the Let's Discuss. Yeah, that's that's a favorite LP for sure. Yeah, that was when uh, Jay was in that one, Star Soldier and Jay. And we just made a few innocent jokes about uh, uh, 2J and the how uh, there was one part where he wasn't talking. And I said, these dogs are throwing wrenches at us in this airship. And then you go, well, Jay should try throwing words because he hasn't said much. <laughs> I took a stab and it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then later on, Jay sent me a private message on Skype saying, hey, I th thank you guys for having me on the commentary but you're gonna make fun of me. i appreciate you do it behind my back not in the commentary so i don't think i'll be doing any more videos with you i'm like man come on dude and i okay bye so soldier was like <laughs> sorry dude i'm sorry that he's butter over that dude i'm sorry and yeah i was like come on dude really we're not really uh, i don't know I, I gave up on him i try to be patient with jay i just had enough of his emo this but Anyway, uh, there's also something else. Me and we guys started to argue, go out of each other's throats, and uh, leaf part seven of the pipe world. The feather and the leaf. I just, I just have a pet peeve when, whenever I say something and like someone goes, "Oh, that's not it. It's this," and I'm like, "Okay, fine, whatever. Same thing, basically." No, it's not. It's this, and I'm like, "Oh, you said it wrong, or something." I corrected. I know, and that I was thing. Uh, I got the what do I call it? I call it the feather. Feather, and I was like, "It's a leaf." Yeah, you go to leave. I go, well, fine, whatever, same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Oh, then I go, all right, let it go, whatever. It's a leaf, fine. Oh, and then we start arguing about it. Go, okay. Yeah, and I was like, is that a door? It's like, is that, <laughs> is that really a door? <laughs> making fun of, like, just the most ridiculous things. <laughs> so, okay, wait, now wait a minute. No, wait a minute. So you guys were going at each other's pipes. Dude, that's gay. And, 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 and trying to feather each other. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, shut up. Yeah. J-Man. <laughs> you weren't there. You weren't there. 
Well, that's a real feather in your cap, uh, Phil. And <laughs> here's another personal favorite of mine, because this is a tribute to X-Gemini. Let's play Mega Man 3. So, yeah, we got was in that one, Star Soldier Green, of course. Yeah, we all were. It's Green. Well, green New X Gemini. Yeah, yeah, and 3, of course, is a great game. So, that was a all, all contributed. Yep. And, oh, here's here's a fun one with a lot of us. Super Mario Advance. That was Bears, and that was that was fun. That was fun. That, um, that totally made me advance to uh, other videos. Yeah. <laughs> No, Bear did Mario 2, uh, All-Stars version. I did Super Mario Advance and oh. and original oh. Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, you didn't? That was you? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Cause, yeah, Bear did the All-Stars version. Forgot. <laughs> yeah. You did Advance, the much better version, the much better LP version of Mario 2. <laughs> yeah. that was I stayed my ground on that. <laughs> and it was, it was the same thing as Mario 2, but it's still fun. I mean, it's still fun to do. I loved Mario Advance when I first got it back in 2002. Alberta talks. This is as far as you go. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, where did you learn to fly? Oh, oh man, I was going to say that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, in April 8, 2012. Oh, man. Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Yeah, the one I was actually going to be in, but then... The ending, the one. <laughs> yeah. uh, I told Porter J Man I said something I shouldn't have said, and I was I can't believe I said that, and I need to take it out. And we did it again. And this you know, it's funny that you could have just did like a simple edit to like mute it, except of course then people wouldn't know why I was laughing so hard at the end. <laughs> yeah. So. So no you one, couldn't take that. No one ever knows why you're <laughs> laughing so hard at any point in the video. <laughs> Yeah, really, and I'll get to that part. <laughs> I'll get to that part in a minute in another LP. But yeah, <laughs> the World Warrior, uh, you know, uh, maybe fighting games. Gentry said fighting games don't make good LPs, and maybe that's true, but dang it, I don't care. I wanted to do it. So me and Star Soldier did it, 30-minute video, me beating the game. Yeah, Street Fighter, you know, ECW. Uh, we got to appreciate this. Let's play Karate Kid. Yeah, man, because I was I owned that game. Twelve minutes. <laughs> yeah. You're the best around. <laughs> Nothing's ever gonna keep me down. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um. Then after that, I started. Let's play Nightmare on Elm Street. That was another good one. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Uh, was it David Wise music? Yeah, man. Oh yeah. Rare, baby. Oh yeah. Awesome soundtrack. Game mediocre. But the soundtrack is just epic. Freaking epic. Oh hell yeah. And Star Soldier is in that one with us. Um, okay, and then I did Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. The longest OP to ever finish, <laughs> kind of. Well, like the second. Chrono Trigger, maybe. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is number one, and then, yeah. Link to the Past is, like, second runner-up. Yeah. You just wanted to knock uh, Donkey Kong Country off the uh, off the top spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. That too. That too. I forgot. Darn Country One was took along. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. And those games are actually excusable because yeah, they actually take a long time, as where Donkey Kong Country does not. Yeah. <laughs> um, here's a game that didn't take long to finish. Let's play Codename Viper. Well, yeah, Jinsei's yes. LP that was already done and pre-recorded. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I forgot. But that was still, that's an underrated game. I kind of liked it back in the day. It was fun to participate in the commentary. Made by Capcom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. We guy. Let's play Streets of Rage Remake. The Streets of Rage Remake was another favorite. That was that was good. Yeah. Uh, was that Gentry on steroids? That was Jintu's on Jintu on steroids. <laughs> yeah, and we got like, because <laughs> it it was almost uncanny how similar that actually was. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you had Star Soldier's Lulz take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was funny. Like I told him, I said, "All right, since you can't be in the, let's discuss. You want to do a pre-recorded uh, commentary of it?" He goes, "Yeah, sure." I go, "All right, it's recording. Go ahead." And he goes. Oh yeah, baby, we're at the final level here. 
And I go, no, no, dude, no, no, don't pretend like you're doing commentary over the final part of the gameplay. Do the let's discuss your last opinions on it. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> that was hilarious. I was like, what is he doing? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, um, that last thing, you, last thing you said doesn't remind me of what I'm, I'm going to say, but right before that, Reminds me of the uh, wrestling matchups. Oh, uh, Bear versus uh, Wee Guy. Yep, and uh, uh, Green versus his baby brother. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too much. Too much. <laughs> yeah, for the STKCW Championship. Yeah. Um, okay, now, here's one I enjoy doing in... Uh, one of the LPs I got to enjoy doing in my uh, when I first moved to this apartment here. Let's play Uninvited. Yes. Oh, and Deja Vu, like the the two sequels to Shadowgate, where we had our just wacky, you know, antics once again. Yeah, I just didn't like Deja Vu. I, I didn't fully enjoy the LP that much, like I did Shadowgate and Uninvited. I like I like the commentary in Deja Vu. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. I have Deja Vu of being uninvited. <laughs> um, but Uninvited was oh man, awesome game uh, I think it's the best one of all three of them, Shadowgate's still my favorite but I'm just being honest, I think Uninvited is the best one and, oh yeah, I mean the soundtrack oh, I love the soundtrack that's why when you upload the Ape stereo we got like, yes, yes yes and yes, I mean Uninvited was an awesome game Funny commentary. I love the commentary in this one, especially in part four. I think where we got got possessed by the Lowell's ghost, and I, I did, I did. Kept on laughing at the the spell names Stellini and whatever, and we got goes. It's Italian names. The Skeletini and the Stellini. <laughs> yeah, and so that was hilarious. We got just like you start laughing at me. Star Soldier and Gentoo were like moving on with another topic, and then you kept on going. At the cloud EC. <laughs> yeah, you guys just kept talking. I just still s- just laughing about the freaking Italian references of the names. Yeah. That's it, it's not funny in any way, but for some reason I just was laughing. Yeah, <laughs> really. And we got to hurry up and wrap it up here because this podcast has gone longer than I expected. So the last games I'm going to mention... Uh, all three of them, we LP, uh, well, two of them, because we haven't finished uh, the one I'm currently doing. Ninja Turtles 1 and 2. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ninja Turtles 1 and 2. Um, have fun doing those, especially part 6 of Ninja Turtles 2, where we did, like, a lost tag. We were just messing up big time. Yeah, this was, I don't know what the heck was going on with us. Yeah, like, I go, work them. I mean... <laughs> And then just laughing and so hard, we got style and yeah. They kept that long low stake in. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, the Ninja Turtles games one and two were fun to do. Uh, we are currently working on Ninja Turtles three and Mega Man four on the S2K channel, but we'll talk about those I guess in the uh, 2013 year review podcast, you know, sometime around New Year's. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mega Man 4 is still not done? No, it's done. I just only uploaded part 1. I need to upload the other parts. Well, that's, that's what I mean. It's like not uploaded? Like It's not finished uploaded. But technically, uh-huh. for the people, it's not finished in that they haven't seen the... You can watch it now on Blip TV. How, watch... long, how long ago did we finish that? Uh, I don't <laughs> know. I don't want to mention, probably... I was still living at the other house before we first started doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it had to be earlier this February or March, I think. Well, look, I just, okay, okay, I I'm, I have to admit, I'm just trying to be jamming and how long to, it'll take to finish it up. <laughs> yeah, but you're not doing it for the same reason. It's because you're, like, popular and awesome now. What? You're trying to... <laughs> <laughs> trying to beat my record of three, two years in Ocarina time. <laughs> Oh yeah, that got finished. 
Big Man 4 coming soon. <laughs> on the S2K channel. And so, yeah, there you go. Um, that's our favorite. Uh, mainly, I guess, mine. Me, we got, because I know J-Man only did three, but he had other favorite LPs as well. I know. I still had favorites. I know good. He enjoyed Barbie and, and uh, uh, Ugh, gross. 64 and Donald Wars. I'm just kidding. Um, and Yes. <laughs> And yeah, so a lot of fun times, but definitely, I don't know if y'all can think of any off the top of your head. My top, I don't know if it's the right order, before we close real quick, I'd probably say Star Tropics, maybe number five, or uh, I don't know, Metroid number one, Star Tropics, or Shadow Gates number two or three, and Uninvited is probably number five on there, uh, somewhere top, on the top five list. But Metroid, definitely my favorite yes. channel. What do you guys, what, uh, what about you guys? I would say uh, my favorite is uh, Batman. <laughs> yes. That was totally awesome. Love that. Uh, second favorite would be, I don't know, uh, if I could, I want to say Shadowgate slash Shadowgate 64. Um, and then my, you know what? Yeah, Shadowgate 64 and then Shadowgate. Nice. We got that's tough. Shaggy 64 itself it wants to be my number one because, like I said, that's just like the pinnacle SCTK commentary and LP. But I, I, actually, you know what? I may probably put that one at number one just because, you know, Jinzu nailed it doing that one. And probably Target Renegade for number two because of the legacy of the game and me starting on the SCTK, you like know, LP. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Even though I didn't get to talk much about it, I actually really like Super Mario RPG. Not just because of Star Power turning the... make the black turn white. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah. And I forgot to mention, I love Rocky and Bullwinkle. Funny commentary. Yeah. Loved it. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, purple? Metroid. Definitely. I still want one. They're so cute. That's the only reason she's saying that. I have that. to have one. No, I've always enjoyed that game. I mean, come on. You're a chick, and you can ball up in a little ball and roll around. And the Metroids are fucking adorable. But I want one. Oh, they're like evil jellyfish. It's awesome. <laughs> but do you Never see? listen to women. But do you, I, I listen to all of them. Only pretend that you're listening. Did you watch the LP, Purple? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> she didn't, no, she has not watched all parts of it. No, not she's, all parts. She's only saying that based on the game, not based on what the podcast is about. Based her? <laughs> I sat in with one. Oh, of I, I based her all the time. <laughs> wow. You master baster. <laughs> master baster. Master baster. Yeah. No, I was in one of the uh, videos. Well, I so. am the master at basting her, yes. Oh my god, children, can we stop talking about this? Let's wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is it for our, that's our favorite uh, STKLPs. Hopefully many more loads of stuff to come as we head into the new year and then uh, sometime next year, you know, July 20th will be five years. So yeah, uh, we got hopefully many more loads of LPs and fun memories to come. So alright, that is it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm the wee guy. <laughs> I'm the purple Oh, damn it. And uh, this is J-Man, J-Man 46241. Peace. Metroid. Bye-bye. I'm the one and only Wii guy, you motherfucker.